about wanting to sort of reinvent the basis of why Peter Parker is an outsider and his journey as a hero. Can you tell us a little bit about working on that? Yeah, I mean, there's there's something I thought that was really interesting. Like, you, you, I, I kept on thinking about this kid whose parents left him when he was very young, and that's something we haven't seen talked about in any of the movies before. And I thought it was like, what 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 happens to somebody who who um, uh, who, who goes through that kind of event at a very young age, and I thought, well, it, you know, he's probably got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder, and he's there's an irreverent quality of Spider-Man, a sort of quippy, fun, uh, punk rock attitude that I thought was really fun to explore, and, 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 and Andrews uh, uh, uses this term trickster that I really like, and, and, and that... Like Logie? Pardon me? Like a Loki? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that, and that was just, that was something that I, I, I had a really fun time uh, thinking about. Well, I know another thing that people are talking about is kind of like the darker feel of the trailer. And particularly, we're very excited about these POV shots, the Spidey POV. Right. Are we going to see a lot of that in the movie? Well, there's there's moments. So we tried to, when we were creating the action in the movie, we tried to start at a very, in a very real uh, uh, place and shoot everything in a live action kind of way. But there are certain specific things. There's there's a, this sort of Spidey vision thing, which will happen at very specific yeah. moments where you're looking at the world through his eyes. And I wanted, because I wanted the experience, it, it, the 3D experience to be vivid and specific to 3D. Uh, and I think one of the one of the great assets of 3D is you have an experiential um, feeling in, in, in a big cinematic environment. And that was something that I thought you could, I wanted people to feel what it felt like to be, to be Spider-Man. And 3D was a great way to do that. And so I wanted to make those things specifically for them. Working with the practical effects, how much did Andrew and Emma do themselves? Well, how much did Andrew do himself? Of the, they, spent a lot the, of time, they spent a lot of time in harnesses and wires. There's no doubt about it. I mean, Andrew took it, so it just was really, if, if, if the acting thing doesn't work out for Andrew, he has a great career as a stuntman. I'll leave it at that. Okay, thank you yeah. so much.